Going green. This is actually my first time hitting going green. What? And Jason's too, obviously, because it's his first time at the park. Yeah, we're going the right way. I've never done this, but I'm pretty sure. Should be pretty easy. So that was me talking to the GoPro as uh, Jason <laughs> kind of <laughs> falls here on the turn. So yeah, you're going to hear me maybe a little bit uh, in that video, but hey, this is me on the voiceover. So yes, as I said, this is my first time hitting going green. And actually, as you'll be able to see, it's a pretty fun trail. And interestingly enough, it doesn't actually feel like a super beginner run. Like, let's say I had this type of trail that we could shuttle to or even do an easy climb up to and do like a 15 minute ride down this type of trail, this level of trail. No, it's not extremely hard, but let's say I had this right behind my house. How fun would that be? I would be ex super excited and blessed to be able to have something like this trail. And I know this is at a bike park. This is lift served. It's a green trail at a bike park, but it's not super hard. It's not super beginner as I think it should be. It should be a little bit more beginner. Uh, this top part here on Going Green is actually... Uh, a, a bit more fun than what you'll see later in the video but yeah I'm glad I'm able to talk to you guys uh, here on <laughs> just like a mini I don't know video podcast um, and I know we had a hype video that was last week if you didn't watch the hype video from last week where that's basically where I play a song and then I do the highlights of uh, of the Big Bear trip over that song playing just cut it up really quick it's like three or four minutes go check that out it was a good video fun song to listen to while watching the video all cut up so check that out because i think there's like one or two clips of going green on on that video but yeah going green this is actually a fun fun trail i like it better than turtle turtle is a blue but it almost seems a bit easier than going green at some parts. Uh, I'm not saying, of course, that going green's hard. It's a green trail, but it, 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 Turtle's just a lot less fun than than this trail. I, I really like this. It's a nice, long trail. I, I forgot how long it is. Maybe like two miles, po probably. But it takes you like... 14 15 minutes to get down which is actually uh, a nice long trail it's, it's a good size for the bike park but that being said this is all that snow summit has to offer for green trails this is it and turtle is actually like i said a pretty easy trail to go on after uh, this but I wish that they had maybe one or two other green trails just to be able to offer to beginners who want to go up to Big Bear, Snow Summit, and ride as a family. Because if that's you, you're pretty much just going to be riding this the whole day and maybe turtle a couple times. Contrasted with Mammoth, which has the Discovery Zone, that is a really nice area. Multiple green trails that you can pretty much almost spend all day on and once you're ready move up to off the top which is uh, like a one or two hour run off the top that you can do as a family that's actually how i started mountain biking i, I didn't start at snow summer i didn't even start on my local trails i rented a bike with my family during the summer i think two or three years ago and went mountain biking for the first time it really blew my mind how fun uh, it was to ride down a mountain. You're literally riding on dirt on a trail down a mountain on a bike. And yeah, you're, you're pretty much holding your, riding your brakes the whole time, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot 
of fun, a lot more than I actually thought it would be. I thought, yeah, I know how to bike. I, I learned how to bike when I was seven years old. Uh, I know how to bike, but mountain biking is a lot different. People think that they know what they're talking about when they say mountain biking. No, it is different than normal biking. So, as I said, Jason, this is his first time up at Big Bear. It was my second time uh, actually riding the park. I said in the hype video that uh, I, I came up three times, but I broke my wrist the first time, so I wasn't able to ride uh, that, that trip. But Jason, he has progressed so much. If you watch the land jump, crashes and concussions, Jason actually got a concussion. If, if you saw that video, it was a nasty fall. And people normally would be like, oh, I'm done with the sport. Mountain biking, stupid sport. It's too dangerous. I'm not going to do it. Uh, it's not worth my time after a serious injury. Many people do that. But with Jason, he was resilient, and he's gotten so much better. No, he's not sending 40-foot jumps or even hitting super crazy tech trails, but he's gotten more comfortable on the bike. He's uh, learning how to turn better. He's, got, he's grown in his skills of mountain biking. And I'm really happy about that because it gives me someone else besides Brad to ride with. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how he's progressed. Uh, you'll see in a later video uh, in the coming weeks, he actually uh, gave him the GoPro and he goes down Blue Steel and gives some commentary and kind of uh, playfully uh, bashes my reputation about how I ride and how I treat him. But, uh, yeah, it's all, all fun and games with each other. <laughs> but I, I know you guys as an audience think he's hilarious. And honestly, he's probably more funny than me. He's got a great personality, uh, which, which I enjoy um, being friends with him. And then this part right here kind of reminds me of, if you saw the Goat Mountain video, uh, riding by Bass Lake. This is Bear Lake right here, because we're up in Big Bear, but oh, yeah. those two lakes are kind of similar size. Uh, but yeah, I said that in a video if you could catch it to the GoPro. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful run, both here, Going Green, and Goat Mountain. Goat Mountain is a little harder. It's got uh, a few more rock gardens and kind of steeper, uh, st steeper single track, but very similar. You ride by the lake, you see beautiful views like this. Um, so definitely recommend uh, this uh, bike park. Obviously, Snow Summit. It's a world-renowned bike park, but also up in Bass Lake, there's Willow Creek, 007, and Goat Mountain. Great trails up there. <laughs> oh yeah, and here we get lost. Brad was the only one who's ever ridden this trail, and we uh, kept going further, but Brad's like, oh no, no, we gotta turn this way. <laughs> so now I'm in front of Jason, and Brad's in front of me. Um, which is was which is what we probably should have done, having Brad go first, because he's the only one who's ever done it, but he was in the back. So that just shows our weird logic thinking about that. But I, I wanted to follow Jason for a little bit so you guys could see how much better he's gotten in, in his riding. Because I don't want him just to be like a meme to the channel about like being uncoordinated. No, he's actually gotten a lot better, and I think he can continue to grow. Uh, in his skills, but he's definitely got to get a better bike. He'll talk about that in uh, in the Blue Steel video and how he, he's got a hardtail that is pretty bad. It's like a $300 hardtail. It, it's not that good. <laughs> so uh, it's impressive that he's actually able to like survive riding up at a full-scale bike park where there's actual hard features rather than just riding around local trails. Oh. 
And I guess this area must have gotten a little fire because it looks like the trees are burned. I don't know what happened there uh, because uh, I've just started riding this bike park. Uh, last year was my first year. So hopefully we'll be able to get back up to uh, Snow Summit at least once more this summer. But I want to get to Mammoth soon. Uh, either towards the end of July or August. Um, try to get up to Mammoth twice and Snow Summit one more time. And then I think that will be good enough for the summer for bike parks. Yeah, and I start going kind of fast here. And I think I, I almost skid out, maybe. Maybe this is the part, no. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, sometimes on these single tracks, it gets kind of scary. You, you you pick up speed, and they have, they have one of these, like, uh, scary turns, and then and then you, like, totally fly fly out, but uh, I was smart in slowing down. But then you lose your momentum uh, on the turns, so it, it's kind of like a, almost a lose-lose situation. Sometimes how they build these trails. Goat Mountain was one of those. Uh, but but obviously there's a huge crew maintenance crew they know how to build trails up here in snow summit no doubt and let me just talk about real quick the difference between the dirt uh, where I normally ride down south here and mammoth because those are the three main places where I ride this has like the most tame dirt uh, that, that I found. I know something like 10 ply, which I haven't done, that has a lot of moon dust and uh, de definitely uh, more dusty than the other trails on the mountain. But uh, th this has some pretty good solid dirt. It's a little, little loose, but anyone who has ever said that something's loose has never written Mammoth. Mammoth is the loosest that you can ever get. Uh, it's it's got that like volcanic kitty litter, and it, it, it's really really interesting riding on it. it. It it definitely takes a different feel than here. Um, but then what what I ride at home is just I don't know normal dirt. Kind of has a lot of granite in it where I'm from. Uh, a lot of granite in the soil. And that's usually the rocks that we're jumping off of, decomposed granite. So we're heading towards the end of go of the trail here, going green. And as I, as I said, it, it kind of gets uh, a little boring here, a li little less fun. A uh, lot, lot more wide and flat. You see people going down. But uh, I think there was a family... Uh, riding uh, with, with a couple kids up up further. We passed by them. I didn't mention this, but uh, <laughs> they looked like they were having a little bit of trouble. Like, whoa, this is actually a, a slightly harder than we thought for a green trail, which further proves the point of uh, it, it being kind of a more difficult green beginner trail. But overall, a really fun trail. Um, I'm glad that you're willing to stick around and listen. Um, and this kind of empties out towards uh, chair two. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, uh, dropping more videos uh, about this trip, this Big Bear trip. But um, hopefully soon in Mammoth. Thanks so much.